This video discusses the top two most common math mistakes made by students of electrician mathematics. Over the years I have found that these two extremely common mistakes are made by not only students who are struggling in math, but also students who excel in mathematics. That's why I've listed them here. You can find a much more detailed analysis of electrician mathematics by clicking on the link to the right of this video in the About This Video text box. The most common mistake is not dealing with terms correctly, particularly when they have a minus sign attached to them. For instance, minus 4 squared does not equal 16. The mistake occurs because the student doesn't realize that the only thing being squared here is 4 not the entire minus 4. Therefore minus 4 squared does not equal 16. If we were to square the minus sign as well, the result would look like this. The quantity minus 4 squared and that equals 16. Now our equation is correct. The second most common mistake is also not dealing with terms correctly, especially when they are in the denominator of an equation. Here's an example. You don't need to know anything at all about electric circuits to work this problem, but you do need to be able to evaluate it correctly. This example shows the current in a circuit at any point in time. Notice the exponent is T over RC. It is extremely easy and common to evaluate the exponent incorrectly. It's important to note that the denominator of the exponent is R times C the denominator is not just R by itself. Now study this diagram very carefully and notice the small differences in the three different mathematical expressions here. If you can look at this diagram and understand why the last expression is incorrect you will be ahead of most people in your class. You can find much more information about mathematics for electricians by clicking on the link to the right of this video in the About This Video text box.